Hey, what's good? Welcome to the Vocal Minority Report. It is your boy, Melvin Glasgow, MC. Welcome to the show. Uh, got a good one for you today. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Uh, first things first, in uh, exactly one week from today, Rodney Reed is scheduled for execution for the 1996 murder of 19-year-old Stacy States. Hopefully by now you have heard uh, about this case and Rodney's uh, sustained claims of innocence. He's uh, maintained his innocence from day one. Uh, he was convicted by an all-white jury in uh, Bastrop, Texas, which is a um, obviously predominantly white, not obviously, but is a predominantly white country town. And many believe that uh, a black man who was having a, a, consen a consensual relationship with a white woman who was later murdered could never get a fair trial. So much has happened in the last 23 years. Uh, Rodney has always maintained his innocence. And you can, uh, you can go to the Innocence Project. There's, um, actually, there's a lot of information there listed. They give you facts about the case. So I won't go through the whole rundown of the case. But basically, we're at the point now where we are seven days away from Rodney Reed being executed if the state of Texas, which means Governor Greg Abbott, he's the only one, or if the Bastrop County District Attorney, uh, they could also intervene uh, in the case and help stop this execution. So, so many people believe that Rodney is innocent uh, based on quite a few factors. Um, one is, is that Stacy Stites was engaged to a police officer at the time uh, either a Bastrop police officer or a sheriff's deputy, um, but his name was uh, Jimmy Fennell. Jimmy Fennell has later been convicted of some uh, pretty terrible crimes against a uh, another woman that he was in a relationship with, I believe, and uh, has also said to have confessed to actually being the murderer of Stacy Stites, for which Rodney Reed was convicted of. So that is just uh, one of the many things Fennell was, all, was listed as an initial suspect in the case anyway. Uh, but then Rodney, because uh, many think because he was black, uh, also because he was having a um, relationship with Stacy Stites, which he did lie to the police about initially uh, because he was fearful of um, retribution or, you know, it, it's mid 90s, white girl, small town, and uh, he was not forthcoming with police about that. And many believe that that um, is part of the reason why um, he was convicted. Uh, e even though, you know, there's been numerous innocence claims uh, since then, there's been claims from Reed and his camp to want to test the DNA or additional DNA, which uh, has been refused. And uh, additionally, you know, the, it's fallen on deaf ears that uh, Jimmy Fennell confessed to someone else. Um, so there is a jailhouse snitch. And uh, yeah, and there's, there's a lot of other factors. So, you, you know, you should really get involved in this case because for all intents and purposes, an innocent man is scheduled to die. And at the very least, a man who deserves a new trial based on several different factors at the time. Um, and that's what over two million people have said. Petitions have been signed. Uh, there's, you can go to my Instagram page. It's uh, The Vocal Minority, at The Vocal Minority on Instagram. Click the link in the bio. Go to Facebook, The Vocal Minority Report and you can uh, see the links or just search for Rodney's name. Um, all kinds of celebrities. I don't know why that's news per se, but all kinds of celebrities have gotten involved in the uh, effort to free Rodney Reed from Oprah to Kim Kardashian to Rihanna. Uh, but I think more importantly, there's uh, been some bipartisan uh, love to get Rodney Reed out of prison and or at least have the evidence tested uh, as recently and uh, pretty uh, fervently. Uh, Senator Ted Cruz, who is certainly a Republican, and uh, but no, he, he's been out there since uh, last week um, saying that Rodney Reed should uh, have the evidence tested and his claims of innocence should be taken seriously. So we will see what Governor Greg Abbott has done. He is under an immense amount of pressure, but uh, he also knows that he controls the, uh, the cards. So uh, we will see what happens. Hopefully he is not super interested in playing with a, uh, a man's life. Cause at the end of the day, wouldn't you want to just get it right? You know, I, I, we could all be wrong, but wouldn't you want to get it right? You know, that's, you know, I'm, I'm definitely against the death penalty. I've said that before. I, I think we should abolish the death penalty. I know for certain 
without being able to name an actual name, but as many wrongfully convicted people have been exonerated, you know that that means that there have been innocent men and women uh, put to death. And this is a extremely clear, clear cut case that needs to be reviewed, that needs to be stopped. So everything you can do in the next seven days to affect change and help um, save the life of Rodney Reed, please do. You can call your senators, you can call Greg Abbott's office. There are a lot of action items. I'll put them down in the notes and uh, follow me on social media. Follow Dallas Citizens for Change. Um, follow Lee Merritt, follow Sean King. They um, have committed for the last two weeks, I think it is, to devote pretty much all of their time to helping uh, get Rodney Reed free. So no matter your opinion on Lee Merritt especially, He's trying to help get a man out of prison in this uh, specific instance. So let's uh, let's make sure that we help support the movement and uh, hashtag free Rodney Reed. It certainly needs to be more than just a hashtag because, uh, like I said, the, the, el the evidence is overwhelming that he did not do it. And at the very least, we know that it needs to be reviewed. So do what you can to uh, help support Rodney Reed. Um, yeah, check out all the Facebook pages and groups and, and follow me, uh, the Vocal Minority Report. And the Innocence Project, because I mean, they, they really have taken this on. Um, so make sure you follow the Innocence Project.